bright day is coming for you. A wonderful day is breaking for you. I don't know how many of us realize that God gives us admonitions, gives us instructions, so that we will not get into trouble. God tells us ahead of time the things that will happen so that we can take precaution and not get into those situations that will become horrible. Today we are going to read 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 and 9. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 and verse 9. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Be sober, be vigilant. You know, John 10 verse 10, what the scripture says, the thief will not come except there is something to steal or some being to kill or some situations to destroy. And here he's saying, listen, my friend, the thief will come because of what God has given to you. You are a child of God. God has given to you treasure. There is something to steal. The thief will come. But he said, be careful. Put your head down. Be sober. Be vigilant. So many of us are not vigilant at all. We just live carelessly. Anyhow, the Lord knows. The Lord will take care and all that. Be vigilant. Because God has given treasure to you. If you are not vigilant, you will hand it over to the devil before you realize that you have handed over. Because the devil can never, ever take from you what God has given to you. You have to be the one to hand over. You see, the world we live in, the devil is the prince of this world. How? Adam was given treasure. He was neither sober nor vigilant. The devil showed up. He handed the world over to the devil. And you know what Satan told Jesus during the temptation? He said, I'll give you the whole earth that was delivered to me. Adam delivered the earth to Satan. Let's not live like that. God has put treasure in you. Be careful. He says the thief will not come except there is something to steal. Who is the stupid thief that will go to a place that there is nothing to steal? Who is this stupid thief that will go to the house of a beggar to go and do what? Even if the thief were hungry, he's not going to the house of a beggar. What will he steal? There is no devil that comes to you with a temptation or anything if there is no treasure in your hand. There is something you have important. Be sober, be vigilant. Because he's roaming about looking for that person that he can take advantage of. He said he comes to steal, to kill. When your life has become a treasure to God, you are washed of your sins, you are made whole. Oh, the devil knows that there is something there to kill. He's coming after you. But if you lived your life unto God, being sober and vigilant, will he get you? He will not. Anyway, but just look at it. Check out the madman who lives in the refuse dump, eats from there, eats all manner of rotten things. Do those things kill him all of a sudden? No way. But you, eat that thing just once, not one day, just once, a single time, and see if you live. You'll go through all manner of medical disasters. At the end of it, you'll die, infected by just the single time you ate from there. But that's the one that lives there. The stench alone is enough to kill you. Well, what would the devil kill that one for? Nothing. He's looking for you. Be sober, be vigilant. The devil comes to destroy. God puts you up. Your circumstance is wonderful. The devil is after you. And I want all of us to bear something in mind. You hear it all the time. What have I done to anybody? Why are they after me? No, you have treasure. The devil is after you. Forget that person. He's only using the person. And that's where people get into the kind of prayers they shouldn't pray. Father, he must die so that I'll live. Why should you live only after somebody else is dead? 
if anything, that fellow should live to show that the power of God in you is beyond everything that he or she is doing. Don't go praying for somebody to die. Have that realization that that fellow is working for the devil. The devil is only using that one as a tool. Those who pray that prayer that others will die before they leave. When the people do die, what happens? Does the trouble come to an end? No way. Because those people were not, as it were, relevant to the equation of your life. It is the devil's business. They are being just used. Don't worry about them. Be vigilant. What is the vigilance? Walk in the commandments of God. Sober. Keep your head down. Obey God. Learn to live a righteous and holy life. Even as you falter. When you fall, pick yourself up. A righteous man falls seven times, he rises up seven times. Don't fall and lie down there and tell yourself, oh, I fell. There is no way I can go forward. You can't go forward. There are other people who have gone forward, so why is it that you alone won't be able to go forward? Even where you are complaining that you can't go forward, others are passing you by. That means you can't go forward. Let's check our lives again. Say resist him steadfast in faith. You don't resist the devil by going to fight. It's not a physical combat. You are not fighting flesh and blood. You are talking about principalities and powers. You are talking about Lucifer himself. You are talking about his agents. Even the minions around. But whatever they are, whoever they are, however many they may be, whatever is the aggregate of them, if you are sober and vigilant, you will be able to resist them in faith. You don't have the power to resist the devil. But if you have faith in God, by that faith, you will overcome. And my desire is that all of us will get to that point of being able to overcome him. And bear something in mind. If you are passing through a problem, realize that you are not the only person in that situation. You know the usual thing you hear? What is happening to me is not like what happens elsewhere. This is something special. I've never heard of it, according to you. Your exposure is so small that you don't even know that even in the next house, worse things are happening. That's why it says, remember that others are suffering the same thing that you are suffering. So don't be shaken by what you are suffering to m lose focus. Don't let what you are going through make you fail to be sober or vigilant. Always be sober and always be vigilant. Even in whatever you are suffering, you will overcome. Where there is vigilance, where the person is sober, overcoming is guaranteed. That the devil does not come to steal, to kill, and to destroy what belongs to you. Rather, that you will triumph in every situation. And may it be so for you, from this moment henceforth, in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.